Hey everybody, this is Darkside, and welcome back to part four of Dark Souls Prepare a Die Edition Extras. Okay, now I know that this looks a little bit like that it's probably too far across, but you can actually get over there. I don't do it on the first try, but try, try again, that's what they always say. And you can see the chest over there. Start working our way back up to where we were. I was just contemplating right here, saying, wow, I, I should really try to flip in there. But I was looking down there, and of course there's space for one, and then there's the little railing down there, which it makes me a little nervous. I might have to try the windows or something. Anyway, we were really here for this thing right at the moment, so... We're going to try it again. Oh, by the way, don't do it this way. Not enough room that way. I am, however, getting quite adept at being able to run back up to this jump point. And thankfully, they don't require you to fall far. See me edging closer there. Yes, I want to jump. I want to jump in. I want that chest in there. Okay, now we are going to run across this thing. And this time, we're going to make it. Now, I didn't try it out to find out if you could fall through that, but I'm not taking any chances because I suspect you can. So keep something underneath you. You see, I kind of walked down into a ditch there. I, I think that's an area where you can fall through. All that for a red titanite chunk. And then we walk in here, and there is a room in here with absolutely no purpose. No nothing in here. Which makes me wonder. But near as I can tell, there's nothing in it. It really does seem like there should be something in this room. So now would have been the perfect opportunity to test that theory and find out if you can fall through. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's collect our item on the body. I have no idea what that does, and hopefully we're going to find out. Now this building here has fallen completely on its side. Lucky for us, though. Or else we wouldn't have a way to walk through. And voila, we unlock our very first shortcut. Not the most helpful thing right at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find a use for it later. A couple of sorcerers right over here. And we want to take these guys out as cleanly and efficiently as possible without large globs of flying goo. Now if we just learned how to shoot straight, there'd be nothing we could not accomplish. Mm -hmm. At least they drop titanite. I think that got your attention. Why, yes it did. But for some strange reason, they can't walk up the stairs. Looks like we hit you in the arm. Arm shot for the win. Looks like what these guys are, are hiders. We're not quite done with you. Uh, now we have time for your friend. go again hiding that one could have been really nice too That's it, you might be hiding, but you came out on the wrong side. Now you just opened things up for me.
Now, for some strange reason, I must have lost my mind whenever I was getting ready to do this next part because I honestly, I saw this guy off in the distance up there and I'm thinking, well, maybe he's friendly. Nothing in Dark Souls is friendly. Anyway, I took a little bit of a beating off of this guy, mainly because I wasn't for sure what to do with him. At any rate, this particular mob here actually reminds me of a movie I saw a long time ago. Uh, take quite a bit of damage from this guy that I really shouldn't have anyway the movie I was talking about is he reminds me of one of the characters from uh, quest for Camelot an old animated flick yes but Still, that's just the first thing I thought of whenever I saw him. Oh, look! You brought me a surprise! I have a surprise of, of my own. You can't fly. That's the surprise. Now I'm seeing these ripped out bars and whatnot, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to get like most of the way down here or something, and next thing I know, there's going to be mobs pouring out of these things. That is a bonfire right up there, but that's not going to be enough to save you, right? Hmm. Somebody broke through that hole. It's like they let all the nuts out first. Oh, we got the opportunity here. We are just going to kindle a little bit. See, these are some of the new places that you can get to from Warp. Mm -hmm. 
And me without my sunlight maggot. I think I'm going to have to go back and pick that up now. Although, it's actually got quite a bit of light like directly around you, so I'm not entirely for sure how well this is going to work. Bad crystal lizard. I punish you. But if you look off in the distance, lots and lots of red glowing eyes. And I sense some menace about them. And these lights here make me think I'm going to find patches somewhere in this. So let's just fire random arrows out into the crowd and see what comes out. Now there are absolutely loads of these guys out here. And then I shot that one. And this is where... I think this is the start of where it all goes wrong. Because I get two of them. They come out at me. I kill them. So I start shooting out into the pack again. wondering where's he at oh he doesn't have to move got pretty good range on those things too So anyway, I'm thinking that that might have actually pulled him out a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Not enough. Have you noticed that thing curved really, really well? I'm pretty sure that it almost made a 90 degree course correction. Anyway, we've got a little bit of time here, so we are going to kindle up this bonfire from the next time that we come out here. And I'm going to do a little backtracking first. Right, now, one of the reasons why I wanted to come out this particular direction is because I wanted to see this particular person right here. I've heard that they come out after you pretty much leave the area and then come back here. I'm not sure exactly who it is. But if you're a dex based character, I think you want to answer yes to her question. Would you be willing to part with it? Yes, of course. I am, however, not a dex based character, so we're going to see what's behind door number two. And find out what we can do with uh, Artorius' soul. And that will conclude this section of Darksiders Prepare to Die Edition Extras. Remember, if you like these videos, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.